his father, we wouldn't have ever gotten in touch with Mustard Seed or the orphanages or the other places. And we keep reminding ourselves that Jamaica does not operate on the same speed at which we like to get information. But fortunately, we have Dr. Bailey down there. We can hound him because we have his cell phone, even if nobody else returns our calls down there. So um, for those of you that are going to be in the Kingston group and you meet his father, you'll say, I know exactly who he is. <laughs> they look exactly alike. I've never seen a father, son, you are that are quite exactly the same. So Kyle, I apologize for putting you on the spot, but see, you're here as an international student, so this is good training for you. Tell us a little bit about your flag, which we've been carrying around the campus for the last three months. And we'll let you now carry it for the International Day next month. Yeah. And then just whatever else you'd like to share. Okay. Um, first, I'd just like to thank you for having me. And I'd also like to thank you for going to my country. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, my flag is you know, it's pretty simple. I like it. Um, <laughs> each color actually represents a different thing. Um, the yellow represents the sunshine. The green represents the land and the hope for the future. And the black represents the <coughs> hardships of the people. And yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, as as you've been told, there are actually the two different Jamaicas. Um, I come from, you know, Kingston, and the other side, the other Jamaica would be in Montego Bay, Ocherias, Negril, and it's more touristy, and they're they're even more warmer, you know, in how in how they treat their guests, since you know it's tourists, and they will give you the whole the whole. Um, Yaman, I Rastafari, that kind of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But when you go into Kingston and St. Andrew and probably Portland, St. Thomas, I know some of you are going to St. Elizabeth, you'll see what it really means <coughs> to be Jamaican. You'll see the different cultures, you'll see, um, I don't know, like, you know, the poverty, the different types of classes of people, how we go about our every day. And, yeah, I just hope you enjoy it. Um, do you have any questions for me? No? None? <laughs> <laughs> yes? <clears throat> what high school did you go to? Oh, I went to Almost Boys High School. It's um, it's an all-boys high school. And um, I remember in the presentation about the education that you gave, um, where it went up to 7th seven, yeah, seven to 11th grade, there are actually two more years after that, and that prepares us for um, college. So you, you graduate at 11th grade, but then it's up to you to take two more years to prepare you for college, and that's what I did, because I thought I was going to college in Jamaica, but then I decided to come to college here, and it's the best decision I ever made, so. <laughs> Any more questions? And you'll be going home this Friday as well? Oh, yes, I will. You'll be on a Delta flight? I don't know. I haven't booked the flight as yet. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you might end up swimming. Yeah. Uh, you're flying directly to Kingston, though. Yeah. So you won't yeah. be on Delta. No. He is going home for Frank. Yeah. So, Kyle, thank you so much. I know this was a lot to ask.